I'm Jenny Limmerman, Miss Nebraska, and you're watching The Party Zone. I'm Tom McGuire for The Party Zone, a hot new TV dance show to hit the area. Coming up today, we have an interview and performance by Empress Music Recording Artist Little Susie. We went to Club Metropolis in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and we caught up with her there. Also, we have interviews by Miss America contestants 1998. That's all next on The Party Zone. South Dakota, how are you? Great. For our viewers watching, the girl's 15 to 24 years old. Uh, can you give us a description of what brought you yourself to this point in this America? Well, I'm a singer, and I've been singing all my life since before I can remember. I've just been at home in front of people doing performances, so this was so easy for me to be involved in something like this where 40% is talent because it just felt like something I should do because I could do it. That's kind of what got me involved in it, and the lure of all the tuition money was was a big incentive. How many years did it take you to get here? It took me three years. I was first runner up to Miss South Dakota twice in a row, and uh, the second year was very disappointing, but that made me work so hard. I'm so glad that I didn't win last year because I've really changed who I am and I've really bettered myself so I know I'll do better here at Miss America now would a lot of girls on the average if, if they didn't win like the first time give up that happens it does a lot of girls uh, have a disappointing year and maybe take a year off and try again and a lot of times say enough of that I'm not gonna try again but I'm if, if those are the kind of girls who quit they probably shouldn't try again because they're not the type of title holders that we want and where are you at in your life right now how old are you I am 23. I'm a graduate of USD with uh, criminal justice, political science majors. I'm done with my first year of law school, and I put that on hold, so I have two more years, and I'll be an attorney. So that's your goal, is to pursue law? Yep, it is. I'd like to go into criminal uh, criminal law, hopefully be a state's attorney or a judge maybe someday. Good. Give us a background where you're from. 
I am from the smallest town, I think, here at the pageant, 244 people. I was in a high school of 40, graduated in a class of 8. Oh, my God. I live 9 miles from the closest town, 4 miles from the closest paved road. <laughs> but So I, I'm definitely a farm girl at heart, but I am striving for some big goals outside of my little farm. <laughs> what do you think of Lang City? Oh, I've never been here. It's really neat. The boardwalk is beautiful. What advice would you give to girls watching that want to pursue this kind of career? First of all, start a talent. If, if God hasn't blessed you with a, an amazing singing voice or, or some kind of talent, take lessons because it's something that's very, very important in the system. Also, stay out of trouble. Keep your slate clean um, and be career orientated. They're looking for girls who want that scholarship money because they are striving towards some huge educational or, or future goal. So, Cause I think a lot of girls watch and they think that it's all beauty and I don't need them to have a talent. I'm just going to show up and look good and that's not the case. Oh, not even close. I mean, beauty, there's 15% swimsuit, but that's physical fitness. Beauty has nothing to do with it. And if you, I think if you'll look at some of us, you'll real, you know, you may think, how did she win? Well, that's because you can't judge us by our looks. You can't. And that's the whole purpose of feminism and, and um, the prejudice issues today is you can't judge people by their looks. For myself being here and watching the pageants in the past, I do have the perspective of being here and getting to know you guys rather than just watching and thinking, oh, I want that one to win, that one to win. Right, right. And, you know, it's so hard, too, for the people, the armchair judges out there watching the telecast because they didn't see our interviews and they think, how did that girl win? How did that girl make top five? Well, if you really got to know us and understood where we come from and our intelligence and our our commitment to our platforms, they would understand. Well, I wish you well and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you. Okay, take care. Sorry. Okay, folks, will it be? What would you like, sweetheart? A Pepsi, please. Sorry, we only have Coke. Now you've done it. You're sorry? Not half as sorry as you're gonna be. I ordered a Pepsi, pal. She's got a mind of her own. What's with this guy? Look, I just thought... You thought? What you really thought was that I don't know the difference between Pepsi and a Coke, right? Here's your Pepsi. Thank you. Mmm. Kids say the darndest things. What are you looking at? I like this place. You can check out the Party Zone, a hot new TV dance show every Sunday night at our new time slot, 6.30 p.m., right here on TV 53 in South Jersey. You can dance at our all-day taping Sunday, October 11th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the all-new Club Metropolis on Route 73 in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, hosted by Rich Freak from the hottest radio station in Philly, along with his co-hosts Rachel and Robin's recording artist Deborah Michaels and DJ Joel Furness. That's all Sunday afternoon, October 11th at Club Metropolis in Pennsylvania, New Jersey. So tune in every Sunday night at 6.30 p.m. for the Party Zone right here on TV 53 in South Jersey. And I'm G Double. Come be a part of the Friday night party here at Metropolis Nightclub. Oh, right here at Route 73 in Pennsauken, New Jersey. Call 609-663-2200 for directions. Metropolis, baby. Ain't nothing like it. an exciting career in modeling. Call now for your free Barbizon booklet and start on a new, more fabulous you today. Barbizon. You can get the look, voice, and confidence of a Barbizon model. Call now to visit our school and agency and come in and receive a free gift. Take the first step. Call Barbizon today at 649-9700. Barbizon. For another party zone exclusive interview with Miss Oklahoma 1998, Julie Payne. Uh, can you give us our viewers an idea of what brought you to this point of the Miss America pageant? Um, well, I competed for four years in the Miss Oklahoma pageant, and uh, the first two years I was not a top ten finalist, and um, then I just decided to work a little bit harder, and uh, this year I won. It's a long time to hang in there. Yeah, it is. It is. And I was busy with school, and um, then I, this past year I've been working on my master's, and so it's kind of hard to squeeze in preparation time with school, but the scholarship, money's, scholarship money makes it worth it, yeah. Your master's in what? Uh, mathematics. Okay. So, 
where do you stand in life now? How old are you? I'm 23 years old. Okay. And like I said, I have one more year left to finish my master's degree and then uh, hope to complete a doctorate. What are your plans for the future? I want to be um, a college professor. So I want to teach future math educators how to teach math and give them kind of creative creative ways to teach math and make it fun for students. Neat. Um, since we're, we're a local uh, television station, can you give us an idea or background of where you're from? Sure. I am from the heartland of the United States, in rural Oklahoma. And I grew up on a wheat farm, so I'm a farm girl. Different? Uh-huh. Graduated with 30 students in my high school class. Wow. Uh-huh. So what do you think of the town of Lang City compared to where you're from? Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> There's a little more to do than there is in rural Oklahoma. So what advice would you give uh, girls your age that want to pursue this career? Is, is it as glamorous as it seems? or? Uh, it's a lot of fun, but the main thing I just encourage them to do is to learn from the experience and to not go into it thinking they have to win, and if they lose, that means they're a failure, because I learned so much from the times that I, I didn't win, and it was a growing experience for me, and so if you go into it with the right attitude that I want to gain something from this personally, and I want to learn about myself and grow as a person, then I think they'll do really well. That's good advice. Do you have family here? Yes, 15 family members. Oh, yeah, they're happy. Uh -huh. I just saw my parents good. this morning. Good. Well, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it, and good luck in the future. Thank you. New Hampshire, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Um, what brought you to this point in Miss America? Well, I've been following the program ever since I was a little girl, and I started competing on my state level when I was 17, and this is my last year of eligibility, actually. I've been involved now for six years. How old are you, how old are you now? 24. It's from 17 to 24-year-old women that compete, and so I was at my state pageant five times, and I funded my education for five years through the scholarship money I've been awarded. Wow. 
Yeah. So what are your career goals? Well, right now I'm the owner of two dance studios, and I hope to expand on that. And also I'm studying criminal justice, and after I obtain my degree, I'm going to go to the law center at my school, Franklin Pierce, and I'd like to work in child advocacy. Now you're busy. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun. So what do you think of the town of Lang City now you're here? What do I think of? The town of Lang City. Oh, I love it. I've been many times before to watch Miss America, and so it was fun to come back as a contestant, but Atlantic City is a great place. Now, if you could, since it's our, a, a local show, can you give us a description of where you're from and what it's like compared to Lang City? Certainly. Oh, Laconia is very different from Atlantic City. Uh, we're, we're a tourist area, too, though. I live in the Lakes region of New Hampshire, and so our summers are busy, and for skiers, uh, they come in the wintertime, but Atlantic City is just a great place. We don't allow games gambling right now in, in New Hampshire, but they are discussing it, and so someday maybe Laconia will turn into a mini Atlantic City. Uh, can you give us, uh, give a girl advice that's watching that's, that's your age and wants to pursue this career? Is it as glamorous as it seems, or you tell me? It, it's much more than glamour. It, it is a scholarship program, and it asks that young women have have a platform, something that they care about, that they'll spend their year of service working on, and also it, it lets women perform their talent on a whole new level. I mean, the audience last night was incredible when I was tap dancing, and, and it's just a really great experience, so I would encourage any young woman to get involved. If you're sick of dealing with the college and loan process for to fund your education, and if you'd like to better yourself, you improve all of the time. I know that just from being involved in the program for five years, each year you see improvements, and those are life skills. Those are lessons that I've learned that I'll have with me forever in anything that I do. And you did a nice performance last night. I enjoyed that. Oh, thank you very much. I had a great time. The audience was wonderful. Well, I wish you well in the future, and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. You can check out the party zone, a hot new TV dance show every Sunday night at our new time slot, 6.30 p.m., right here on TV 53 in South Jersey. You can dance at our all-day taping Sunday, October 11th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the all-new Club Metropolis on Route 73 in Pensacola, New Jersey, hosted by Rich the Freak from the hottest radio station in Philly, along with his co-hosts Rachel and Robin's recording artists Deborah Michaels and DJ Joel Furness. That's all Sunday afternoon, October 11th at Club Metropolis in Pensacola, New Jersey. So tune in every Sunday night at 6.30 p.m. for the party zone right here on on TV 53 in South Jersey. Yeah, I was Storm. Introducing Storm, a whole new kind of lemon lime. Incorporated, providing finance and detailing services across all of southern New Jersey. Our mobile unit is equipped with 150 gallons of water, electric, and top-of-line products to make your car showroom clean. Our services include exterior washing and waxing, interior cleaning, as well as carpet shampooing for any vehicle, residentially and commercially. Want to look good on the water, too? We will clean your boat from bow to stern. For all of your detailing needs, call us at 1-800-266-6553. We treat your car like our own. Providing our customers with the absolute best in quality and service has made Jay and Professional Painting the number one painting firm in South Jersey for over 10 years. Whether a complete historic restoration or a new construction project, commercial or residential, J and Professional Painting is the one to call. We are skilled in all phases of the trade and our workmanship and attention to detail are simply the best. For quality, service, and the professional difference, call J and Professional Painting at 800-747-1500 for all your painting needs. Okay, I'm sitting here with little Susie. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Fine, thanks. What have you been, what have you been doing since Ocean City taping? Well, um, actually, the next day I went to the Bahamas for a week. A little relaxation. And then as soon as I came back, I had a show in West Palm Beach. Wow. And uh, I did a few shows around New York City. And now I'm here. Busy? Yeah, very busy. I'm working on a new single. Um, it's called I Still Love You. I've been going for photo shoots and all that kind of crazy stuff. So I've been very busy. Um, since our viewers are like 15 to 24 years old, uh, young girls, what advice would you give them if they're trying to start a singing career? Well, it takes a lot of hard work. <clears throat> um, you need to have good stage presence, which means you have to like have that thing about you on stage. You can't just go up there and be like, you know? What, what age did you start at? I actually started singing when I was five, but I got my first like professional contract when I was eight. Then I had my first hit 
when I was 12, and that was uh, Take Me in Your Arms. But you have to have fun on stage. Um, I mean, not everyone has to sound like Mariah Carey, you know? It's like, it, it all depends on your show. You have to be able to carry a note, you know? How old are you now? I'm 19. Okay. And it just it just takes a lot of hard work. I mean, I've, I've accomplished a lot in my life, but I'm still not happy yet. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? 10 years, hopefully, I'll have four platinum albums and have a few movies out. <laughs> That's actually realistic. Yeah, you know, we'll see. I get, I've been getting actually a lot of offers for, um, for movies and stuff. Okay. I have no acting experience, but, you know, you gotta, I want to get my hands on everything. Just try something out. And who knows, I might be the most horrible actress in the world. Might as well just stick to singing, but, you know, I gotta, I gotta see what works for me. Let's get personal there. Well, not that personal. <laughs> what are your likes, dislikes, uh, hobbies? Um, my hobbies. I love sleeping. <laughs> I'm the sleeper. Um, shopping, I love tattoos, I love piercings. A little wacky like that. Um, what else, wacky. What else do I like to do? I'm just a boring person. No, you're not. Well, no, what? I, mean, I like to go like, on the jet skis and stuff like that. You know, nothing like out of the ordinary. All right, so what don't you like? Hmm. I don't like mean people. I don't like phony people. <laughs> um... Hmm. I don't like those go-kart things. Okay. My dancers almost killed me on a go-kart in Arizona. So now I'm like definitely afraid of them. How about animals? Oh, I love animals. I have a big, big poodle. This is Santa Poodle. His name is Bowie. I had, I had two cockatiels. I gave them to my road manager because they were too messy. They were Elmo and Harold. <laughs> so you... <laughs> Do you leave them home when you go away and sing? Yeah, I have two brothers, so they take care of my doggie for me. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us? <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, the new single, I Still Love You, it will be out October 20th. Um, there's a mix for everyone, for all you freestyle fanatics. There's, a, there's two freestyle mixes. Um, there's a house mix. There's like a deep clubhouse mix. Then there's the original mix. There's like 50 mixes. That's why it's taking forever to come out. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the original mix, it's more like um like a mid-tempo. That's already on my album, Paradise, which has been out for about a year now. And I did it in Spanish, so... Okay. This time I'll try in Japanese, Yiddish, nah. <laughs> Jeez. I'm kidding. Well, thanks for joining us, and I'm sure we'll be in touch, and maybe you'll come back on our show to sing another song. I will. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. My new song called I Still Love You. Hope you guys like it. I still love you.
everybody, we're back, and I'd like to give a special thanks out to you, the viewer, for watching our show. And our sponsors, Pepsi, along with the new Storm Soft Drink, the Hard Rack Cafe of Lang City, Barber's On School Modeling in Philadelphia, Club Metropolis in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Porter Bell's Pizza in Ocean City, and to everyone who helped out in the Miss America pageant, and everybody behind the scenes, and we appreciate that. Stay tuned for another episode of The Party Zone. I'm Tom McGuire. Take care. It's time for the party later.